Hi, this is Tom Malloy. Okay, we're finishing up our two-part video series on 11 ways to market your independent film. So here we go. We're starting now from number seven, your website. Your website is super important and it can work to gather email addresses, gather fans, put together a mailing list, and this is a hub potentially for all your VOD links, where the movie's playing, what theater is to buy tickets if it's playing in theaters. The website is super important. So this should not be something that looks unprofessional. Get somebody to design your website and make it a, a page that you're going to collect those email addresses to put into a newsletter, to put it into an email list about updates for the movie, anything that can help get more eyeballs. Number eight, social media. All right, this is something where you need to be out on social media, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and promoting your film as best you can. Now, there'll always be new social media coming up. Who knows, uh, TikTok might be dead in a couple of years. I mean, it happened with uh, Vine and, and these ones from the past, it, but there's always new ones popping up. The key is you wanna be on it, you wanna be getting clicks, wanna make really interesting content, so that you can put it up there and people will go, oh, this is something I wanna watch and get that out to the world and that will direct traffic towards your movie. Number nine, film festivals. This is something where a lot of people don't understand that it, it, those major film festivals that are very hard to get into, the Sundances, the Tribeca is a can, those ones are kind of like lottery tickets for you as a filmmaker, but the smaller ones, you may not get a sale there or a distributor picks it up or, or something like that. It might happen, but you're building fans, right? If you have successful screenings at smaller, medium, you know, to small film festivals for a while, you can get the word out there. Now, the key is you don't want to do a year and a half, two years of film festivals because now the movie's old because the first film festival most likely will list your date on IMDb, so then it's now dated that movie. Okay, so you don't wanna do it too long, but it is good to do it, and especially if you can get in a frenzy of film festivals right before the release date. Every single time you're introducing the movie or doing a Q&A afterwards, you can tell people or even hand them a postcard that says, here's where you can watch the movie when it's released. Number 10, I just mentioned postcards. This is a great way. Uh, anytime that we do a premiere or we do a screening or I go to film festivals, I have stacks of postcards that I hand out to the audience that usually shows a QR code right there and that could take them to the website. They could watch the trailer or it will take them directly to the Amazon or iTunes or Google Play or wherever the film is playing, Voodoo, any of those things, but it's there on the postcard. You know, there might be multiple ones there, multiple QR codes. And that's something that people can look at and go, oh, you know what? I, just, I love this movie. And uh, here, I'm going to show it to you, you know, show it to my friends and get that QR code, check out the trailer and pass it around. Again, it's all to drive audience and uh, eyeballs to your movie. Finally, number 11. This is a big one. You want to encourage all your family and friends to put reviews on IMDb and Amazon uh, and anywhere else they can. But those are the two main ones where you're trying to get people to support your movie in that way and the algorithms start to work that that movie starts popping up for more and it's suddenly this is getting more and more reviews it's amazing to me how many filmmakers don't do the simple thing of asking all their cast and crew and their family and their friends to do that to put reviews up there this will help your movie sell and it'll get more eyeballs for your movie Okay, that's the end of the videos, the two video part series of 11 ways to market your independent film. Try to put these to work, and the more you can do it, hopefully, the more revenue you'll bring in.